So, the question is, the Boombox GTS or the Sony XAV-AX7000? Which one is right for you? So as of November 2019, you can now upgrade or retrofit uh, if you have the original Boombox 6.5 GT touchscreen or the smaller 4.3 non-touchscreen version uh, to the new Boombox GTS, which was released on 2019 and newer Harley Touring models. The nice part is you can do it directly through Hardy now. You don't have to go through an aftermarket company and you don't need any aftermarket parts. And because we're continuing our mission to try to help as many bikers as we can worldwide, of course, we released a completely free step-by-step -step tutorial video on this YouTube channel on how to do that conversion. I will pop a card on the screen and link to it in the description below if you're interested. Welcome back, you freaking bikeaholics. Ryan Erlacher here, lawabidingbiker.com. I always thank you. That's right, you. For checking back in. So an alternative to the Boombox GTS upgrader conversion is the Sony XAV-AX7000 head unit. We got a ton of questions about it here on this channel, so I figured I'd make this video. It gives you some of the pros and cons of both. Hopefully help you make a decision on which unit will work best for you. And so there's many things you need to consider and know before choosing either of these units. And we actually did a very in-depth Law Abiding Biker podcast episode. At the time of this video, it's only out to our beloved patron members but it will eventually release to everybody. Uh, make sure you get subscribed. Uh, we're on all the major podcast platforms. I'll link to it in the description below. And if you aren't listening to the podcast yet, you are really missing out because we have a ton of fun over there. To get started, let's do a recap on the Boombox GTS system so you're up to speed. I've said it before, I'll say it again. In my opinion, the new Boombox GTS system is only marginally better than the older version of the Boombox system. There are still many bugs and issues with both of them that have yet to be resolved through software updates. In fact, there's one big issue right now at the time of this video with the GTS system and I'll tell you about that in just a minute. And I've been using the Boombox system extensively for many years now. I just want to remind you of our very popular Boombox tutorial video series. I'll teach you how to get the most out of your Boombox system regardless of which model you have. I'll teach you also how to use Ride Planner, update your software, your maps, and your dealership locations. At the end of the day, I'll save you some wrinkles. I'll take the stress out of it for you. And you can get that series at lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Harley Boombox. I'll pop a card and link in the description below for you. And in my opinion, the only real reason to upgrade to the Boombox GTS system is the fact that it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is coming to it very soon. If you don't know what those are, basically, uh, it allows the unit to basically mirror your smartphone so the user interface will be very familiar. And so basically you plug your phone in via USB cable, uh, the boombox screen will look just like your smartphone and you can give Siri commands, uh, you can listen to your music, you can take phone calls, you can use Apple Maps, Google Maps, and of course get turn-by-turn -turn directions among many other things. And that big glitch that I mentioned earlier about the boombox GTS, well, Fact is, at the time of this video, and we have had a ton of reports on this and frustration, is that with specifically the iPhone 11, there is some kind of major conflict and you can't make phone calls or receive phone calls through Apple CarPlay. And yes, as usual, there are a plethora of issues with Android devices and the Boombox system. And while we're on the topic of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, I do wanna note that not all applications are supported. As an example, some of your other favorite navigation apps may not work. And at the price tag of $1,600 to $1,800, it is very hard for me to justify getting the GTS unit just for Apple CarPlay. And that's why at the time of this video, I literally have had the GTS system in my shopping cart online for over a month. It's just hard for me to stomach paying that much money to fix Harley's debacle in the first place. Cause let's face it, you're basically replacing a bad boombox system with a mediocre boombox system. But with that said, if you do go with the boombox GTS unit, you do get 100% full integration full functionality, and it is plug and play. Okay, so let's dive into the Sony XAV-AX7000 head unit. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon every time those are hit. Another biker joins the revolution. We would love to have you be part of it. This is one of the largest online biker communities around. And just a quick disclaimer, in no way am I here to bash on the XAV-7000 head unit. I'm just here to share facts and information. And I don't actually have uh, this system. But with that said, I will tell you, I have done a ton of research on it. We did a podcast on it and I've talked to actual bikers 
that are using the unit. And so I absolutely love the biker community here on this channel. So get involved, leave your comments below, especially if you have something that will be helpful for the community or something you've experienced. And I'm curious about your opinions, uh, GTS or Sony XAV. So the Sony XAV AX7000 is the much cheaper option, but that doesn't come without some limitations and other things you need to know. And from here on out in this video, we're gonna call it the Sony. Number one. So the Boombox GTS system is a sealed waterproof unit. However, the Sony unit is not. Now, Sony says that it has weatherproof buttons and a weatherproof screen up front, and that's all fine and dandy, but if you look at the rear of this thing, it has cutouts and holes in it. And uh, I will tell you that moisture definitely gets in behind your fairing, so I don't know how that's gonna do over time. Now, if you're just a fair weather rider, you ride to lunch and back and you call it good, that's great, maybe it will work for you. But if you're a hardcore rider and you really lay down the miles in any type of weather, then uh, it may be something you wanna take into consideration. Number two. So the Sony 7000 does not have internal integrated GPS and you can't even add it for a fee like you could with its predecessor, the XAV 5000. In contrast, the Boombox GTS system does have the internal integrated GPS and a lot of bikers like that because they use it in areas where there's no cell service. Number three. The Sony unit is not compatible with Harley boom amplifiers, but the nice thing is it is compatible with all other aftermarket amps. Number four, you'll lose the ability to use your CB if you have one and your internal intercom system. Number five, you'll lose that information screen that you can see on the boom box system, things such as your EITMS, which is your engine idle temperature management system and your oil pressure. Number six, it should be noted that the Sony unit is capable of Sirius XM radio if you add the XM tuner and the same goes for the GTS system. If you pay for the service, of course. Number seven, so included with the Sony unit is an external microphone. Now this microphone is really made for the quiet environment inside a car. You route it above your visor, wherever. You make phone calls, you give voice commands. Now, if you try to use this microphone with wind noise on a motorcycle going 80 down the freeway, probably pretty worthless. All right, real quick, we'll get right back into your video. A ton of man hours and expenses go into keeping this YouTube channel going strong. We're trying to continue our mission to help inspire, educate, and entertain as many bikers as we can worldwide. Well, there is a way you can support us by becoming a patron member. Basically, you pledge a certain amount per piece of content, no risk to you because you can put a monthly cap. There are benefits such as t-shirts, stickers. You get access to the private Facebook group, which is a troll-free zone. It's bikers helping bikers. You get podcasts early, you get access to our live video broadcasts and chat. You get access to our premium videos up on request and access to those ride meetup and events. All right, let's get back into your video. Number eight. So understand that the Sony unit only has an HFP, which is a hands-free profile. That allows you to pair your smartphone via Bluetooth directly to the Sony unit. It does not have an HSP, which is a headset profile. Therefore, you cannot pair a Bluetooth headset directly with the Sony unit. Now, this is very similar to the Boombox system. However, the Boombox system has an add-on unit that allows for the headset Bluetooth pairing, and that is called the WIM, the Wireless Headset Interface Module. Therefore, you can have the capability of pairing that headset with the Boombox system. With the Sony unit, there's not even an add-on unit for that. And because you can't have the HSP with the Sony unit, that's exactly why I mentioned earlier, you lose the ability to operate your CB and you lose your internal intercom system. And so basically, if you're gonna go with the Sony unit, you would basically have to have your Bluetooth wireless headset. You'd have to pair that directly with your phone and then you'd have to pair your phone with the Sony unit. Therefore, you could basically give voice commands from your headset to your phone. And if you're using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, that of course would correspond with what you see on the Sony screen. Hope that makes sense. Getting close, number nine. And so with the boombox system, you get a ton of functionality with the thumb toggles at your control cluster. So you can basically keep your hands on the bars and use those thumb toggles riding down the road. Well, with the Sony unit, you're gonna lose the majority of that functionality. The way I understand it uh, right now is the only functions you'll get if you use the Sony unit and the conversion is you can skip tracks and I think you can do volume up and down. And if you know anything else, uh, please comment below. And so it's worth noting that the Boombox GTS specifically, the touch screen on it was really made to use with an array of different types of gloves. Well, because it's on a motorcycle, you're probably gonna have gloves on. In contrast, the Sony unit, well, it was made for a car. And so good luck using that one with gloves. 
Finally, number 10. And because the Sony was made for an automobile installation, you're basically gonna have to hack it to get it to work with the Harley wiring system. Now there are several companies out there that make complete kits. They're conversion kits, they'll sell you the Sony head unit and the complete package to make it work in your Harley. And for these complete conversion kits, you're gonna pay somewhere around $600 to $700, which is a lot cheaper than the Boombox GTS system. And so if you can live with those limitations, well, maybe the Sony XAV AX7000 is the right unit for you. If you haven't checked out our awesome motorcycle documentary films and other videos, make sure you do before you leave the channel. I'll pop them on the screen here for you.